The family of a man killed when he crawled into a jet engine at Salt Lake International on Monday is now sharing new details on what led up to this death. The family of Kyler Effinger's belie uh, belief that he was having a manic episode. New specialist Lindsay Ertz spoke with them, and Lindsay, you also learned where Kyler was traveling. Yeah, Deanie Kyler was on his way to see his grandfather, who he recently learned was dying. His grandfather lives in Denver. Well, his family believes that he had a, a manic episode and the stress of the traveling, coupled with his grandfather's uh, final days, all leading up to why he bolted from the airport and onto the tarmac. It was a Monday night the Effinger family will never forget. I got a phone call in the middle of the night, and I knew it couldn't have been good. 30-year-old Kyler Effinger was killed in a jet engine of an aircraft after bolting from the Salt Lake Airport through a security door and onto the tarmac. His family believes the stress of the airport, missing his flight, and a belief he was being profiled by the TSA caused a manic episode triggered by whatever confrontation happened at the airport. And, you know, he's a soccer player and a skier, so I guess he ran a large distance on an open runway, you know, to this de-icing area. Um, unfortunately, took off his clothes, but it just speaks to the state. You know, he's, he had just so manic at that point that he just didn't have any rational thoughts. His family says he was trying to catch a flight to Denver. He had recently found out his grandfather was in the final stages of life. And it really just totally, totally flipped a switch for him. And he, he just is so fragile in that way. Like his, the line between being okay and not okay was so thin. Kyler's family says he's been bipolar for 10 years. They believe bullying in high school triggered it. Kyler's mom says his bullies used to tell him he needed professional help. So he always thought by not getting professional help, he wasn't validating those bullying claims. And in honor of Kyler's life, that's the message they're hoping to change. Don't just seek your professional medication, seek your professional therapist. And I think if he had done that, he, he could have been fine. The family says Kyler used medical marijuana to treat his disorder. They won't know if there was any in his system at the time until drug reports come back. They also want to see a better mental health approach to security and law enforcement. Uh, if he was bleeding in the airport or uh, choking on his burrito, uh, he would have found help immediately and it, it would have been good professional help. Um, yeah, we still do not have enough trained professionals to come help someone who's having a manic um, attack. And now, the Effingers describe Kyler as loving and kind. They don't believe he would have intentionally hurt himself. They are still waiting for some surveillance video and a cause of death to come back. For now, reporting live, I'm Lindsay Ertz. Lindsay, our hearts should go out to that family. Thank you.